Namo means I honor with reverence and bow. Guru is the inner guidance, the wisdom that you carry, the highest self within you. Dev calls on the unseen subtle force and Namo means I bow. Roll the eyes gently in and up. Seek the vibration as we chant. Inhale deeply. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale deeply. Suspend your breath for a moment. Sense the horizontal plane of the body and the vertical plane of your body. Perfect axis point. Feel the palms ground at the heart. Exhale. And please silently set an intention for yourself for this morning's practice. What is it you need? What is it you'd like to cultivate? Why is it you showed up on your mat this morning? And when you feel complete, release the hands down to your knees, soften the jaw, <coughs> clean. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. You're going to take a hold of your ankles or your toes, whatever works for you with the length of your arms. You're going to take a deep inhale. You're going to suspend the breath on the suspension. You're going to take a spinal flex forward and back through the spine, holding your breath. And when you need to exhale, you'll return to center and exhale out through the nose in your own timing. You inhale deeply. You suspend the breath. Begin the spinal flex forward and back through the spine as you retain your breath, just beginning to open and beckon the spine to begin its undulation and fluidity this morning, returning to center, exhaling through both nostrils. Please continue in your own timing. Take one final round. And returning to center when you're complete. Relax your breath. Beautiful. You're going to cross your legs the opposite way. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. You're going to exhale, paint a line down through the midline of your body. 
Again, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale the hands down through the midline of your body. Just sense the central axis. Inhale, sweep them up. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, flip the palms to the sky and stretch. Inhale and wiggle your rib cage from side to side. You're going to come forward with those arms. Exhale and round through the spine. Press your palms forward. Take a deep in breath as you hold here. Exhale, press out through the palms, arms horizontal to the earth. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, sweep the arms wide. Taking your right arm up and over, big side bend. Hold here for a moment as you exhale, wrap open the right side of the chest. Deep inhale, root through your sit bones. Exhale, rotate the right side of the rib cage once more. Inhale, root through the sit bones, energy out through the fingers. Exhale, shoulders glide down the back. Inhale as you rise, exhale, switch sides. Beautiful. Wrap open left side of the rib cage. Exhale, root into the left sit bone. Inhale as you extend through the side body, energy out through the fingertips. Exhale, root through the left sit bone. Once more, rotate left side of the chest towards the sky and exhale, root through the sit bone. Inhale as you rise, come up, reach both arms high, twisting to your left. Inhale as you lengthen up. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Anchor the right hand on the knee. Inhale as you lengthen up. Hold right where you are. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale as you sweep the arms up. Exhale as you twist. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you twist. Again, inhale as you lengthen. And exhale as you twist. Good. Coming back to center. Please come to kneel, sitting on your heels if that's possible for you. You're going to sweep the right palm up and over, take a side bend, and then exhale, take it to the other side. Side bend. Good. Keep going. Lateral side bends. Energy out through the fingertips. Beautiful. Shoulders and scapula releasing down the back. Good. Just move with your breath. Inhaling and exhaling side to side. Releasing the jaw, scanning the expression you're wearing on your face so that it dissolves into an expression of neutrality. The neutrality you hold through the expression of the face mirrors the neutrality of the mind as we cultivate and activate the neutral mind, the witness mind, simply witnessing the sensations that are coming and going, witnessing the thought stream as it passes by without attachment, without resistance. Beautiful. Excellent, you guys. Just take two more full rounds, side to side. Final one. Good. And then just release the arms by the side, fingertips to the earth or palms. Sense the verticality, shoulders releasing down the back. We're going to come onto the hands and the knees, wrists under shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale as you arch through the spine, exhale as you round through the spine, continue. Inhale as you arch through the spine, exhale as you round through the spine. And please find the rhythm that works in your body. Intention is to get the fluids moving through the spine, literally speaking. You pump the spine through this movement. We find the breath deep within your movement. Elbows are soft as they gently bend and lengthen just a micro movement. Good, keep going a little bit more.
Excellent. The next time you round up through the spine, hold, draw the rib cage to the left, towards the earth, to the right, and round up. Continue left, towards the earth, to the right and round up, lateral circles of your rib cage. Then add the circling of your head, rib cage head, <coughs> spiraling, elbows <coughs> responding, elbows gateways for the energy to move between the palms and the earth. Beautiful, keep breathing, feel the hips loosen, the mobility, the freedom, the jaw and tongue is soft. The next time you round up through the spine, pause and reverse your direction, rib cage to the right, towards the earth, to the left and round up, continuing right to the earth, left and round up, gorgeous. Adding the spiraling of your head when you're ready. Rib cage, neck, head, spiral, hips, release. Good, breathe. Find this movement in your body. Good. Beautiful. One more round. Find your way back to the center and draw your hips back to a child's pose. Take your knees wide. Rest your forehead to the ground. Coming back on to the hands and the knees, tucking the toes and lifting your hips into the air. Pedal out through your heels, one at a time, pedaling out through your heels. Jaw is soft, back of the neck released. Fingers spread wide, knuckles rooting down. And then find a stillness in your downward dog arriving here, breathing slowly and deeply into the low belly, flooding the lungs, the chest, emptying from top to bottom. Slowly walking your feet forward towards your hands, feet are hip distance. Just take a forward fold here, releasing through your spine, dangling through the crown of your head. If it's too much on the backs of the legs, you can bend your knees a little bit. Really let go, feel the descent of the crown kind of releasing any busyness of the mind, access into the earth. And then bend both knees, slowly roll up through the spine. Please take your time, dangle through the arms, dangle through the head until you stack up vertebra by vertebra. Beautiful. Excellent, you guys. Bending in the knees, feet are about um, shoulder distance apart. Draw your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Fluid with the knees, forward, up, back, and down. Keep going. Forward, up, back, and down. Once more, forward, up, back, and down. You're gonna reverse this movement back up. Forward and down, deep belly breaths, keep going. Mobility and ease in the shoulders, freeing up your body. Beautiful, once more. Good, returning to center. Watch me once, chin draws to the chest. I'm gonna drop down, hands to the knees. 
I'm gonna scoop up through the head and arch back till I draw the chin back in and continue this serpentine movement through the spine. So go ahead and begin finding this deep undulation, chin and towards the chest, rounding down, arching up, leading with the crown, followed by the chest. Get deep into your squat as you bend those knees, as you dive forward, good, keep going. Breathing deep, we're finding that fluidity, the suppleness through the spine. Breathe deep down into a bowl inside of your pelvis. Free up the space. Beautiful, you guys. Take one more round and we're gonna reverse the direction. Next time you rise up, head back, lead with the chest, arch forward all the way down, round through the spine as you come up, head back, lift through the heart, come on forward, good, keep going, you're just working it out in the spine, fluidity, breathe, good, keep going. Excellent. Please take one more, one more undulation all the way down, all the way up, and pause for a moment. Gorgeous work. Bring your feet wider and turn them out. We're going to come into goddess. Reach your arms to the sky as you inhale. Exhale as you bend in the knees, knees wide, elbows wide. Get down low. Good. Inhale as you rise. Come on up. Anchor the heels as you press down. Beautiful. Take the gaze up. Inhale. Gaze forward. Come on down. Good. Again, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, pull it down into your legs. Strong, powerful. Once more, inhale as you rise. Gaze forward, come on down. Bring your hands to your knees. Take a deep in breath. Exhale as you twist to one side. Back to center. Exhale, twist to the other. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Last time, exhale, twist. Back to center, parallel your feet. Sweep your arms up and overhead. And gather your hands to your heart, good. You're gonna walk your feet in a little bit closer to come into a squat position with the hips as low as you can towards the ground. I want you to anchor your heels into the floor the best you can. I don't have quite the bandwidth here for you to see my full body. Palms at your uh, prayer, good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. You're gonna exhale, paint a line down through the midline of your body, come all the way into a squat. You're gonna lift your hips into the air and then slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. Inhaling, you sweep up. Exhale, you come down, all the way down. Heels anchor, hips rise, roll up through the spine. Keep going, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, come on down, beautiful. All the way down, hips rise. Roll up through the spine. Inhale, sweep up. Come on down. Beautiful work. Lift the hips, lengthen the legs, roll up through the spine. Take two more in your own timing. Breathe with the movement. Beautiful, once more. Good. Rolling up through the spine. When you arrive, pause for a moment. Come to the front of your mat. We're gonna take a few rounds of Surya Namaskar sun salutations. Feet are hip distance, palms together in prayer. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Envision the sun above you. 
Exhale as you dive forward and over. Inhale to a flat back, lift your heart. Right leg back, lower the knee, top of foot. Inhale, gaze up or reach up towards the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step it back. Inhale forward to your plank position. Exhale, lower knees, chest and forehead. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full in breath. Full out breath. Inhale as the right leg rises. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Lower the knee, top of foot. Gaze up, reach up. Step the left foot forward as you fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale as you fold. Inhale as you rise, come all the way up, gathering the hands overhead into the heart. Inhale, envision the sun above you, sweep the arms up, drink it in. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, flat back. Left leg back, lowering the knee, the top of the foot, you sweep your arms into the air and you step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to your plank position. You exhale, lower knees, chest and forehead. Inhale as you rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep in breath. Deep out breath. Inhale as the left leg rises. Step the foot between the hands. Lower the knee, top of foot. Sweep the arms up. Right foot steps forward and you fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale as you fold. Envision the sun as you rise. Drink it in through your palms. Gather the hands to the heart. Again, inhale, sweep up. Envision the sun. Exhale, dive forward. Kiss the earth. Inhale, flat back. Right leg back, lowering the knee, gaze up or reach up. Downward facing dog, step it back. Inhaling forward to your plank. Exhaling as you lower. Inhaling as you lift. Exhaling downward facing dog, deep in breath. Deep out breath. Inhale as the right leg rises, stepping the foot between the hands, lowering the knees, sweep the <clears> arms <throat> up. Left foot steps forward and you fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale and you fold. Inhale, rise. Envision the sun gathered into your heart. Last time, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, be generous, dive forward. Inhale, flat back, left leg back. Lowering the knee, top of the foot, sweep the arms up, downward facing dog, stepping it back. Inhaling forward to your plank, exhaling as you lower, inhaling as you rise. Exhaling downward facing dog, deep in breath, deep out breath. Inhaling as the left leg rises. Stepping the foot between the hands, lowering the knee, sweeping the arms up and overhead. Right foot steps forward as you fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale as you fold and finally rise one last time. Sweep the arms up. Gather the sun into your heart. Pause here. Sense your body. Sense your breath. Feel yourself alive this morning. Beautiful, release the arms by your side. Your knees are soft, your jaw is soft. We're just gonna softly uh, wake up all parts of the body. You're gonna bring the tips of the fingers to the crown of the head. I want you to just begin tapping vigorously all over the scalp of your head. As you do so, keep the knees soft. You might even sway a little bit from side to side. You're trying to stimulate the surface of the body, whole scalp, good. Begin to stimulate the front cortex of the brain and the forehead. You're working right around the forehead, the third eye center, above the brows, even to the temples. Good. And this is a vigorous tap. You're saying good morning. I'm waking you up. Welcome under your cheeks. Good. The bridge of your nose out to your jaw, the jaw is soft, 
above the lips, uh, below the lips. Good, keep going right at the jawline. Oh, awesome, lift your head, begin to work down the throat, the front of the throat, the sides of the throat, and when you get to your chest, make fists and begin to really pound into your chest. Take a deep in breath. Exhale out the mouth, ah, letting out some vibration, inhale. Exhale, ah, good, and inhale. Last time, ah, down through the chest and the rib cage, solar plexus, and when you get to your belly, a little pounding into the belly. I'm going light because I've got a little baby in there. Good, beautiful, you guys. Excellent, relax the belly. And now drop the head forward. Bring your fingertips right to the base of the skull in the area they call the occiput. Good, just working here, pounding with the fingertips down the back of the neck, the sides of the neck, top of the shoulders, good, keep working. Come forward a little bit more, make fists, and begin to pound vigorously as high as you can on the rib cage, and begin to work down the back body, massaging into the kidneys, into the adrenals, down the back body until you find the buttocks, and when you find the buttocks, come back upright and relax the buttocks and the glutes. So they're kind of just really flipping and flopping, Good, beautiful. And we're gonna work down the leg, front of the thigh, the inner thigh, down the knee with vigor, palms are open, top of the foot, sole of the foot, back up. Yeah, use some energy here, back up, back up. Get your roots, switch sides, down the other leg, work it out. Hello, good morning, wake up body, I hear you, I feel you, I see you, I cherish you, what a gift, all the way up all the way up until you rise bring the heels of the hands to your eyes cup your forehead slow everything down take a deep in breath suspend the breath with love slide your hands down your whole body to your feet and then you exhale send the energy out and away clearing your field inhale Suspend your breath, those hands move down the body over any particular areas of pain or tension and you exhale, clear your field two more times. Envision any unnecessary energies you're holding, anything that is not you, that does not support the highest expression of who you are, to just simply clear, to leave this space. Blessing your body, giving gratitude to this gorgeous body you inhabit. Beautiful, you guys. And when you're complete, just stand for a moment, witness, feel, notice what's alive. We just completed the warm ups for this morning, and now we'll move into our Kriya. This Kriya is to heal yourself now. It's a really beautiful, nourishing Kriya. Receive your whole being. Receive all of it, all the sensations, all the emotions, all the thoughts. Come on down to find your seat. Good and beautiful work so far. Excellent. You're just going to come into an easeful cross legged position. The hands are resting on your knees. You're going to round back through the spine. You're to begin a Sufi grind to your left. So that means you're circling your rib cage and your torso. This movement is called the Sufi grind because the Sufi dancers were great devotional temple dancers that would dance um, to come into complete union with di divinity, with God. And they are known for spiraling in their movements, spiraling into ecstasy. So you're spiraling your rib cage and your torso. Find your breath into the movement. You inhale. So you draw the chest forward. You exhale as you round back. 
And please close your eyes and go inward. So it's one of the gifts of this uh, particular yoga is that it's a very inward practice. It's really about what you are experiencing internally and feeling. Well, it's about some perfection of the out outer form. So really go inward, greet yourself, greet your breath and the sensations. Beautiful, keep going. <laughs> Beautiful, you guys. Take another two complete circles. And then you're going to simply reverse the direction of your circling, of your spirals. When I do this movement, I like to inhale, draw the chest forward. I like to exhale and round back. Good. And with those hands anchored on the knees, you can use them to your vantage point. You can push, you can pull. And you'll notice how your root right at the pelvic floor is completely wide open and connected to the earth. So it's a very grounding movement. It's this great exchange with the energy of the earth into your root and emptying on those exhales. Beautiful, completing two more circles. Returning back to center as you inhale. Suspending your breath, lifting in your root lock, navel in, sense your central channel. And you exhale. Relax for a moment. When you find this alignment of the central channel, it's not rigid and fixed. There's a suppleness to that expression. So we wanna, we wanna always be mindful of those micro movements of just staying fluid, not locking and tensing in any way. The hands are grounded on your knees. Begin a spinal flex. You inhale the chest forward, you exhale round back. Good, keep going, chest forward, rounding back. Feel your heart center lift forward and up through your shoulders each time you come forward and you round back, simply beautiful. And you wanna keep your chin level to the ground. Good, continue this rhythmic movement with your breath. Good. This is a great moment if you'd like to begin working with a silent mantra. This mantra simply helps to focus the mind. So you can inhale silently vibrate sat. You can exhale silently vibrate nam, which means true vibration, which means I, I call forward all that is me wholly, completely the essence of my being this love and this light that is at the core of my expression. And I let go of the vibrations that don't tune to this frequency of my truth. You can imagine that as all the extraneous thoughts, all the thought forms moving through the planning, the remembering, the judging, 
We simply want to still the mind by resting into the breath and into the mantra, allowing your body to become like an animal, instinctual, receiving all the sensations. How do we fully inhabit this vehicle, this gift of the body? Sat Nam. The eyes can have an internal dristi that rolls in and up to focus at your Ajna Chakra, your third eye. Beautiful, everyone. Please come to center and inhale. Suspend your breath as you do so. Increase your root lock. So you're gently squeezing mool bond, which is the base root lock right at the pelvic floor, perineum for men. And then you exhale, you soften right at that root. You let the energy settle back down. And then send your left leg forward. So the right sole of the foot is into the inner thigh. Your hips and shoulders are squared to the front. You flex the left foot. You send the arms high and you fold forward. Some of you find the knee, shin. Some of you find the foot. I want you to inhale, lengthen through the spine with a flat back, hinge forward from the hips, drawing your chin in gently so the back of the neck is long. Please hold here as you breathe long and deep, which means the breath comes all the way down, flooding the bowl of the pelvis, the low belly, low back, into the rib cage, front side and back, into the chest. And then you exhale, emptying all the air out. Try to breathe slow, deep, remain focused here and now on the sensations, always scanning through the body and noticing where you're holding unnecessary tensions, perhaps in the shoulders, relax, perhaps around the eyes, relax, good. Just as we engage the long, deep breathing, and put our bodies in these shapes, we allow the nervous system to calm and reset. Nervous system, calm and reset. Take a deep inhale. Suspend for a moment, increase the root lock, strongly lifting at the pelvic floor, draw your navel in and up. Exhale, come on up and switch sides gently, sending the left leg forward and right sole comes into the inner thigh. Squared hips and shoulders, arms reach high. You fold forward again, finding the hand somewhere on the leg or your foot. You inhale, lengthen, slight jaw and dad bond at the throat and you fold forward, imagining your heart center pulling through your shoulders so we're not rounding through the spine here it's long and extended you're engaging a deep belly breath slow and deep you're flooding the lungs with air nourishing oxygenating the blood beautiful massaging the heart
when we get anxious or nervous in life, it's very common to breathe very shallow. And that's what causes sort of the panic attacks or the nervous breakdowns when it's really escalated or kind of uncontrollable emotions, anger, fear. And this natural, slow, deep breath, working it when we practice is a, a wonderful support and tool for any time you feel yourself beginning to spin out. You begin to feel that anxiousness arise in your body. Breathe slowly, breathe deeply. This is the practice room. This is where we repattern and remind our bodies how to come back, how to engage the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the receptive aspect of our being that allows us to heal and rebalance. Our sympathetic nervous system, those uh, tendencies to move fast, fight or flight is very much wired inside of us, especially in our culture. We want to combat that with these slow, deep breaths. Good. Inhale deeply. Suspend your breath. Lift at your root lock powerfully. Hold your breath. Navel just below the belly button draws in and up. And then you exhale, roll up through the spine. Good, please come onto your backs for a moment. Just simply rest onto your backs with your palms face up. We're just gonna take a minute here to let the energies uh, kind of rest and rebalance within you. Resting onto your back, arms and legs splay to the side. Allow the body to breathe in a relaxed manner. Again, scan the muscles of the face from the tip of the scalp, right at the hairline down. Melting, melting, washing. Envision warm water and your hands just simply washing away any of those micro tensions. Good. Beautiful work. <clears throat> you're going to bend your knees drawing the heels in towards the buttocks you're going to interlace your fingers behind your back behind your head feet are hip distance and grounded take a deep inhale navel to spine exhale round up for six five four three two, one, inhale, lower, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rise, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lower, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up nice and high. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going, lifting up, navel to spine, small the back to the earth, deep yoga crunch, slowly lowering down. You're engaging your core. I want you to really go to your edge as you rise up. I can't really demonstrate it completely, so just imagine you're lifting as high as you can, engaging your core, beautiful. You're coming down slowly. It's a count of six. You're breathing powerfully, deeply. Good, rising six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower six. Five, four, three, two, one. Final round, rise up, elbows are wide, navel to spine, all the way up, hover, and lower down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just relax for a moment. Try to soften 
in your lower back. Shift your legs or knees a bit from side to side. Please release your jaw. Good, excellent. You're gonna roll onto your side, come up onto your hands and your knees. Good, from here, palms under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale as you arch through the spine, exhale and round. Cat cow, find a nice rhythmic movement. Find a rhythm that helps you to lock into. Everyone will have a different pace. Close your eyes and rest into your mantra, Sat Nam. Stay with yourself, stay with your mantra and your breath. This is a moving meditation. Articulate the spine. Beautiful, can you inhale and arch to the spine, suspend your breath, lifting at your root lock. Exhale, round through the spine, breath out, mahaban, root lock, navel in, chin in towards the throat, hold. Draw your hips back for a child's pose. Splay your heart onto the earth, forehead down, releasing in your hips. Just letting the buttocks soften, the sit bones descend towards your heels, receive the earth, receive it with your whole heart wide open. This Kriya is an offering, a prayer to the healing of your being, which will be on a physical level and then penetrate on more subtle levels, just for moving through these shapes and these forms with your body. Beautiful, everyone, really beautiful. You're gonna slowly come on up. You're gonna come onto your sit bones. Good. Send your right leg forward and cross your left foot across. We're gonna come into a spinal twist. Hands to your knees, good. Send the right arm into the air and then go ahead and twist, bringing your elbow or your hand to your thigh. Uh, outer thigh, uh, tent your fingers behind you, lift your heart and twist. Shoulders descend on the back. Just hold here and breathe deeply. Please be easeful through the head and the neck and keep a slight jaw and dot bond so your chin doesn't lift up when we overly lift the chin towards the sky, it sort of breaks that line that we're looking for through the Shishumna Nadi. So you want to gently tuck down and in. Good. Heart and chest wide open, deep belly breaths. Good. Easy through the jaw. Shoulders releasing down. Take a deep inhale here, lengthen through the spine, chest lifts. Exhale, coming back to center. Extend the left leg forward, right knee bends, sole of the foot comes across, hands to the knees, lift tall. Send the left arm high and you twist however you can. You can grab the outer thigh, tent your fingers behind you, you lift tall, easy through the neck. Heart wide open and lifted, sit bones rooting. Please breathe fully and deeply.
Stay with yourself. You're almost there. Breathe fully, breathe deeply. Give yourself a chance, your body to work things out. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. You're gonna cross your legs comfortably, find the verticality of the spine. Place your left palm forward, palm facing away, right palm faces inward, hooking in your fingers. Shoulders descend down the back. You're gonna inhale, left elbow up, exhale, right elbow up. Inhale, left up, exhale, right up, and continue. There's a couple inches of space between your chest and your hands. Good. As you pull on your hands, you'll feel your scapula engage a little bit here. Good. Breathe. Inhale, left up. Exhale, right up. Close the eyes. Find a rhythmic pulse and movement. Coming to center and inhale. Suspend your breath as you gently pull on your hands, shoulder to send your back body, lengthen through the spine, feel the lift, gorgeous, hold. Exhale, relax, hands to the knees. Good, drop the shoulders, drop the jaw, easy. You're gonna inhale, shrug the shoulders up to your ears, exhale as you drop them down, inhale up, exhale down, find a rhythmic movement so that pace can pick up and you're very uh, obviously squeezing those muscles of the sides of the neck and the throat each time the ears uh, and shoulders nearly meet, and then you relax completely as you drop those shoulders down. Good, keep going, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, squeeze those shoulders up, engage the Vishuddha Chakra, throat chakra, exhale, release. And now roll your shoulders back, big circles, forward up, back and down, smooth circles. Breathe in a relaxed manner, distribute the energy, jaw soft, neck soft, good. Hands grounded on your knees as your base. Good, breathing. Good, relaxed breath. Beautiful work. Eyes are closed, go within. Good, distribute this energy all throughout the neck, the shoulders, the chest, excellent. And please release the shoulders down. Eyes are closed, roll them in and up to focus at your third eye center. Inhale as you turn your head to the left. Exhale as you turn your head all the way to the right. Inhale, turning your head to the left. And exhale, turning your head to the right. Continue here, slight Jalandad bond of the throat. And you're working with the mantra, Sat on the in-breath and Nam on the out-breath. Go for the full range of movement through the head and the neck.
Beautiful. One more round from side to side. And you'll return to center, neutral, inhale. And exhale, relax your sense, sensing the central channel. Just sensing what's happening here. I'd like you to come onto your backs, resting into a Shavasana with your palms faced up. And as you arrive there, the eyes close, the eyes sink back into your head. Your full body receives the earth as you feel held and supported. And you simply melt. You melt the structures of the bones down into the earth. You melt any effort within your muscles and fascia down into the earth. You feel the fluids, the liquids, the bloods of your body grow heavy and sink downward. And your body comes into a final relaxation here, which gifts you the integration of the work you've done, all the postures, the breath, the prayers of healing for your body, rebalancing of the full system, whole body soft, whole body relaxed. Whole body soft, whole body relaxed, letting yourself go. I want you to remain very, very relaxed and we're gonna move into a closing meditation from this place. We're gonna work with a silent repetition, a mantra. This mantra is in English. This mantra is I am grace of God. And what this does is it reminds every cell of your being that you are an embodiment of this divine creative force, of this grace that is God, that is not separate from God. You are an expression of that whole. So you're gonna align everything with your focus to receive and meditate upon this message that you are, I am grace of God. Don't begin the meditation yet. I just want to explain what you're going to do. You're going to inhale deeply. You're going to suspend your breath. And as you suspend it, you will say, I am grace of God. I am grace of God. I am grace of God. You'll say it 10 times. You can uh, tense each finger one by one to keep that uh, count clear for yourself very just subtly. 
and then you'll exhale deeply and completely. You'll lock the breath out, suspend it out, and again, you'll repeat this mantra, I am grace of God, I am grace of God, I am grace of God, 10 times. We'll do this for a total of five in-breaths and five out-breaths. When you're ready, go ahead and begin. You inhale deeply, you suspend the breath, you repeat this mantra 10 times as you hold the breath in, and then you exhale slowly and completely. Retain the breath out, repeat the mantra 10 times, keep yourself focused on this mantra. Repeat it for a total of five in-breaths and five in-breaths, five out-breaths. So it's a hundred repetitions of the mantra. Go ahead and drop into it. Taking your time, when you complete your five rounds, you're going to slowly transition yourself up to find a meditative posture. Please do this in your own timing once you've completed your five rounds. Upon finding your seat, you're going to bring your right hand to your knee with the pointer finger and thumb tip together in Gyan Mudra. And your left palm is going to face forward in a gesture of a blessing, palm face forward. You can let the eyes soft and close. And we're going to infuse this mantra into all the elements that you carry, that you are made up of inside of your being. In Eastern traditions, we make mudras because it connects, connects circuitry within you because each finger represents one of the elements. I'd like you to gently tense your pinky fingers so your awareness is on your pinky finger. 
As you do so, call forward the element of water and the connection to the planet of Mercury. And these internal waters govern your communications, your communications with yourself, others, but particularly your subconscious mind, your dream state. We're gonna infuse the internal waters of your being with this mantra by speaking out loud five times this mantra. I am grace of God. 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 Tensing now your ring finger. Your ring finger relates to the element of fire and the planets of the sun and of Venus. The fire is your creative fire, your sexuality, your radiance and your vitality. Let's infuse the inner fire within you as you speak this mantra five times out loud. I am grace of God. 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 Gently tensing the middle finger now. Connecting you to the element of air. The planet of Saturn. This is your discipline. This is your knowledge. This is your channel to patience as you stumble through all the lessons you're learning in this lifetime and your devotion, your devotion to learning what you're here to learn. Let's infuse the element of air with this mantra, speaking out loud. I am grace of God. 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 Tensing your pointer finger, connecting you to the element of ether, the planet of Jupiter. This is your expansiveness wide open space, the quality of deep, infinite wisdom, your connection to knowing the infinite that resides within you. Five times, repeat this mantra to the element of ether. I am grace of God. 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 Finally, tensing your thumb, relating you to the element of earth, planet earth. This is your grounding, your foundation, your relationship to your finite identity, your personality. Positive relationship, healthy relationship to your ego. To infuse the element of earth with this mantra. I am grace of God. 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 Releasing your hand down to your knee now. Envisioning these five tattvas, these five elements within you. Balanced infused with this awareness that you are the very embodiment of grace, that life and creation flows through, that you are a channel, a vehicle of divine love, light, beauty, creativity in all her expressions and all her faces. Feel the fullness of your being, emanating its core essence in all directions, full of who you are, 
anchored in love. Unite your palms together in prayer at your heart center. Let's seal our practice with three sat nams. Inhale deeply to chant. Sat nam. Sat nam. Sat nam. Sat nam and namaste. Thank you all so much for being here. What a pleasure. I hope you have a beautiful day. In the feed, I just have some information about my Saturday class at 1015. Um, and also if you wanna leave a donation through my Venmo. Um, this Saturday, um, we're gonna be doing an hour and a half practice. We're gonna practice for one hour and we're going to take the last half an hour to just um, speak a little bit about what's happening inside of the Kundalini yoga community. Um, those of you that may be more informed about it, um, there has been some things come up about uh, the teacher, Yogi Bhajan, who brought the um, technology to the West. And for those of you who have curiosity and just, you know, processing that a bit, I wanted to open up that space uh, for people on Saturday. Um, and where is the information? Let's see, it should be in the chat. If you scroll up in the chat, um, my Zoom link is right there. And I apologize because somehow the time is wrong. Uh, no, it's correct, 10.15 a.m. PST on Saturday, and the Zoom link is right in there. You see that? Wonderful. So have a great day, you guys. Thank you so much. Blessings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.